Recently, I posted a video about my duality modular LED track system, and there was a lot of interest from the community. However, some were concerned with the blacked out lines between the track sections. So is it possible to 3D print diffuser skins that are seamless? Well, there are some issues with this. Knowing that we can't have a gap might lead one to believe that the answer is to overlap them. The problem with this is it will double the diffuser thickness in that spot. Now there's a dim spot, so we can't overlap them. Or can we? I recently came out with the Duality 7 Segment Display System, and with it created a skin pattern called 3D Hex. I was looking into applying 3D Hex to the Duality Track System skins when something caught my attention about this pattern. All of my duality track section lengths are in increments of 50 millimeters. If I can make this pattern repeat every 25 millimeters, I can conceal the overlap within the pattern itself. I can conceal even further by stepping the diffuser thickness down in that exact location. The result, duality infinity, 3D hex seamless skins. They are designed for my duality track system. And if you currently have my track system installed, all you need to do is print these skins and swap them out with your current ones. At the point of overlap, the diffuser steps down to 0.2 millimeters to compensate for the fact that they are stacked at this location. This overlap prevents harsh light from showing at the junction of two skins. The 3D hex pattern at its thinnest is 0.3 millimeters. Inside the hex perimeter is 0.5 millimeters thick, and the hex perimeter itself is 1.1 millimeters thick. You can tweak your filament colors how you want, but the first 0.3 millimeters should be white. I'm going to show you three examples in the slicer and how they look on the track. For all three examples, I will print at 0.2 millimeter layer height, but between 0.2 millimeters and 0.5 millimeters, I will print at a 0.1 millimeter layer height. We also need to enable and generate supports for a small area at the end of the part. Example 2 is to print white until the beginning of the 0.5mm layer, then switch to gray. This will leave 0.1mm of gray on the inside of the hex, and gray from there up. Example 3 is to switch to gray at the beginning of the 0.4mm layer, leaving 0.2mm of gray inside the hex. Example 1 is to switch to gray at the beginning of the 0.7mm layer, leaving the inside of the hex all white. If you want to do a manual color change, just click the plus sign on that layer. By the way, this number here at the layer height we're on represents the height of the layer after this layer is complete. Having an overlap means the two ends of the skins are different. There is a male end and a female end. This means the orientation matters when installing. The first skin is called the start, because one end has no gender and the other is female. The opposite applies to the last skin, the end skin. This male and female business means that for the 90s and 45s, there is a left hand and a right hand, which are not mirrors of each other, since the pattern is asymmetrical. The left hand turns left and the right hand turns right. You'll need to use the Infinity dedicated light couplings when installing Infinity skins to block the light at the track joints while allowing it through the skin. You could also modify the original duality couplings by just cutting the top corners with your plastic snips. When installing, just pick your start end of your track and install the start skin. Then proceed to the track and finish with the end skin. Once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Well, that about covers it. 
these Infinity 3D hex skins are free for everyone. You can find the link for the Infinity skins in the description, as well as the duality track system and the seven segment display system. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next video.